Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading September twenty, uh, September sixteenth, excuse me, to September twenty second, two thousand and nineteen. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. <clears throat> All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Pisces, is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have it is the Eight of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect of the week. And then the final one, that will be the Nine of Pentacles for what it seems, which represents the guidance that Tsaru is offering to you. Uh, so uh, that will be like a um, uh, you are going to deliver a shock to uh, a specific individual into your life it is because you are to completely surprise them with um, with an enterprise that you are to follow with another individual if, if that makes sense no different than for example uh, one child kind of like starts to follow on an idol of his you know a mentor of his and that comes to complete shock to his parents but before we go into all that, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Page of Wands here that stands for the topic. Afterwards is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, which represents the uh, challenges. Then it is the Eight of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And in the last one, that will be the uh, Nine of Pentacles, which represents the guidance. All right, so Page of Pentacles as a topic, it's uh, catalyzed or accompanied with the Ten of Wands. A uh, page, uh, page of Wands, excuse me. That is Page of Wands. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a bit tired, all right? It was a long day of recording. So, Page of Wands with the Ten of Wands. Well, these cards, first of all, are active supporters. So, uh, what, hap what is the Page of Wands, first of all? Well, the Page of Wands is a very uh, energetic person. Someone who is, um, how do I say it? It is very open-minded because it is, con it is willing to consider any points of view. It is willing to consider any kind of idea, no matter how preposterous that idea sounds. Okay, While in the same time, they enjoy life a lot. They like to be the center of the company. They like to be always um, overflown with with attention but in the same time they are very very fragile from within so with the ten of wands here it does look like that this uh, page of pentacles is going to take a, a big part of your life throughout the week and they will be somewhat um, how do i say it um, devouring your time while in the same time they, the, the the page of wands is going to um, create a new it's not even set of rules, but it is more like a um, conditions that you need to oblige to, because those conditions are gonna give birth to uh, to a ki kind of like a new agenda, all right, a new goal, just like I said at the start, a a new enterprise. 
and that enterprise will require a lot. It is a long-term one with these cards and it does require consistency and devotion as well and obedience. Obedience not to the page of wands but obedience to the requirements of the agenda itself. So the challenging card here it is the Queen of Pentacles that is another person here and it's uh, uh, catalyzed by the Ten of Pentacles and it's pretty clear now this Queen that other individual here it doesn't think it's worth it it, it, it thinks that it is way risky it thinks that it is way um, investment heavy to be taken even under consideration all right instead what that person will asks you to do is to um, put more pressure or put more dedication into your current things, current endeavors, instead of, you know, trying things or trying enterprises, which does sound preposterous, right? Uh, so what is the challenge then? Well, the challenge is to convince the, the Queen of Pentacles, that other person, that your investment actually does worth it that it is time that you uh, do something for yourself because the thing with the page of uh, wands even though it may be accompanied with cooperation in between you and the page of wands at the end of the day the achievements are going to be separate all right the page of wands is going to make there is going to get their achievements you're going to get your own achievements so you're going to engrave your signature into this uh, into this enterprise and uh, the challenge with these two cards, the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, it's a challenge of independency. To do something that you are not carried on or you are not guided by this Queen of Pentacles, by your supervisor, for example, by your mother, by uh, by your wife, by your husband, by your friends as well. Okay, you, you just need to do something for the sake of um, remembering, you know, how strong and capable you are on your own accords and that's something that idea you know that enterprise will be presented to you by the page of wands once again it's going to be a tough endeavor all right it will require once again a lot of dedication and consistency and obedience as well but at the end of the day it will worth it the opportunity that comes around with the ten of wands it always worth it Okay, at the end of the day, you may even benefit more than you have anticipated and uh, it will be very difficult for you to, um, uh, how do I say it, not rearrange, but it's more like uh, utilize all the benefits that uh, are going to be um, materializing for you. So we go to the next one, which is the positive aspect, and that will be the, the Eight of Pentacles, and it is accompanied or catalyzed by the ace of swords so with these two cards there is definitely more into it okay these two cards are pointing that the enterprise that comes around with the page of wands i definitely has bigger growth than you and the page of wands initially think that it does have so uh, with these two cards it will be like you are not going to give everything from yourself at the start it is because you will want to save your strength for the very end for when it's time to push so it's it's like a, a very um calculative uh performance at which you never find yourself tired oh. additionally to that <clears throat> with these two cards you are going to um figure out a better way how to establish plans of yours or, or rather like how to make your plans reality how to manifest those plans of yours uh, the details that you have been focused up, up until this moment are not going to be that important anymore it is because there will be a contingency plan all right even if that detail does not work out very well or well, there is always another detail that we can take a look at all right that is going to substitute the first one which we haven't taken a look at no different than for example you need money and you won't be you have in your mind that you're going to take it from a specific person well it's if that person it's uh, it kind of denies you you will figure out a way to find a contagious plan how to get those money it's it's just as that so there will be always plan b c d all the way up to z so there is nothing that you cannot do throughout this week as long as you stick with the cheerful and silly and even preposterous at times you know attitude and uh, look 
uh, is it Luke? It's, it's probably Luke. Uh, and uh, look toward the future of the Page of Wounds. And, uh, you know, you cut the crap with the more practical performance that the Queen of Pentacles urges you to do. And uh, the last one is going to be the guidance here, that is to be the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, it's uh, catalyzed or accompanied with uh, the um, Lover's card. So what these two cards here points is that at the end of the day, we cannot have everything, okay? We cannot um, do what we want to and what we have to. We can only go for one of those. But no matter as well how much we try, we are never going to be able to satisfy everybody around us. And it is important at that point to uh, um, recognize what goal is ours and what goal isn't ours. And are we not following the alien goal? And what we can do to deviate from that and try something for ourselves, okay? Because at the end of the day with these two cards, all that it matters, it is what is left at the end. And if you are not following your goals, guys, then what you're going to leave behind as a legacy, all right, it's not going to be yours. It's going to be some, someone else's. So uh, instead of trying to satisfy everybody and do what other people want you to do, why don't for a change you do something that you want and something that you so much desire, okay? And that thing, it's proposed or offered by the page of wants, either once again, through idea, through a carefree behavior, reminding you how strong you are on your own accord, or how strong you can be as well, and etc., etc. The very least can come around with, um, in a form of some sort of a message. So that being said, Pisces, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for a, a September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and... Uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.